director of the Obama Presidential Center. Her job, bringing the Obama story to life and inspiring future generations of young leaders. And today, making her first television appearance, please welcome Dr. Luis Bernard. Hi, Dr. Bernard. Hey, thank you. So glad to have you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. You're the real deal. First female museum director and a, a project of this magnitude. How does that make you feel? Thank you. It feels like an amazing challenge, a wonderful opportunity. And I will say that I'm very fortunate to work with a really amazing team at the Obama Foundation, as well as with some really wonderful and talented um, exhibition designers. You've yeah. done this before. You, of course, helped design the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History. And that was no small feat. Thank you. So how do you plan to make this beautiful rendering come to life? Uh, well, I should point out the different kinds of components on the landscape. That. So this is the Obama Presidential Center, as you can see. There's this really wonderful tower. This will be the museum. So the museum will live in this building. Okay. It's quite an iconic space, as you can see. And so we're really thinking about the museum as a beacon on the landscape. Okay. And it's a metaphor for inspiration and for hope. Yes. So that anyone who comes to this particular museum will have a sense of the Obama story, but they will also see themselves reflected in it right how do you how do you bring the Obama story to life like that's a tough job that you have to do they're very engaged with the work of the foundation and specifically with the work of the museum with the center as a whole uh -huh. so their input has been wonderful uh, it's really about having very engaged conversations with them about yeah. their story and their impact but also their future work as well so that while we place a particular emphasis on the past on their individual mm -hmm. biographies on the story of the Obama presidency we're also thinking about their future work and how that impacts so many people around the country and around the world. What items specifically will go in the museum? So it will tell a range of stories. The important thing I think for most people to understand is that while it will focus primarily on the Obamas, they tell a really phenomenal story, mm -hmm. obviously. It will be connected to a longer history. So a history of the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. a broader American um, politics and history, and specifically a connection to Chicago, which is so important. Okay, will there be an Oval Office in the museum? There is the idea of having a replica of the oh, Oval Office. Cool. And so that, again, people can visit this space and feel like they were in the Oval Office of the Obama presidency. We're also thinking about new technologies to include in the museum. So there's lots of really engaging physical exhibits, but using new technology like technologies like augmented reality. So you can kind of mm. see into mm -hmm. a particular space and it comes to life. When you think about what you just said, just think how many kids from the South and West Sides who will probably never go to DC and this will be as close as they can ever get to the Oval Office. So that has to be important to the Obamas. It's certainly important, but I think there's also that aspect of inspiration and aspiration. Yeah. And so maybe there is a way for them to imagine going right. to Washington, D.C. and maybe seeing themselves in the White House. That's amazing. So that's certainly part of the goal. Okay, and now you were going to describe some of these other buildings. Yeah, so here. the wonderful thing about the campus is the museum belongs to a series of connected buildings. Uh -huh. So this is what we call the forum space. And this is where many of the public programs will take place. Uh, the museum itself, the level, the main levels will be ticketed, but there are two non-ticketed spaces oh. on the lower levels and also uh, an observation deck, which will have this amazing view of Lake Michigan and oh. out back to the south side and out to the city. That will also be free to the public. But many of the, the public programs will take place here. So there's an auditorium, there's a test kitchen, there's a recording studio, there are multi-purpose spaces, there's a winter garden, and people can really kind of hang out and really right. enjoy right. this space. Like President Obama did before, you know, when he was starting off early in his career, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Feeling a sense of community and connection mm -hmm. is the key thing. And then it goes off into, I thought for a second, I said, is that a golf course? But you said, no, <laughs> it's not. It kind of like not, looks like yeah. it could be. We call this the, the great lawn and again we we imagine how people can really engage with this space and it's related in a way to the plaza yes which is another area where people can kind of convene and, and hang congregate. out mm -hmm. and just really enjoy the, the really wonderful surroundings and this is a gorgeous landscape as you it's can see. It's beautiful. So this in the summer you can imagine people just really enjoying the green space but then in the winter it becomes a kind of sledding hill. And this is something that Mrs. Obama was really I knew to. it I knew it and I you, knew it. You Behind might recall, every great idea is a great one. <laughs> 
um, <laughs> you might recall the images of Sasha and Malia uh -huh. sledding at the White House. Yeah. And we know Mrs. Obama is known for fashion, but it's going to be Absolutely. much more than that in terms of her yes. legacy in the museum, right? It will be much more than that. So the dresses are important, and everyone will want to see the dresses. But at the same time, for her, everything that she wore was attached to education, broadly speaking. So the designers that she really encouraged and mm -hmm. engaged, the idea of the fashion industry broadly. She was always bringing young people in for education workshops. So the dresses are wonderful, but they tell a much broader story. Uh, but also the important work that she did around wellness. There will be actually a kitchen garden I'm on sure. site in relationship to the restaurant and the cafe. Uh, but she was really also thinking very much about her work with veterans, and that's something that we will also highlight. And Joining Forces was an initiative that she had with Dr. Jill Biden, Vice President Biden's wife, and it's work that is ongoing, has really impacted many people's lives. Well, this is truly exciting. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing this with us. Really for more on the presidential center go to obama.org